Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you my December Morphe Me Brush Club unboxing. If you would like to see what I got this month of December in my Morphe Me Brush Club, then just keep on watching. And for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome to my channel and don't forget to hit that little red button down below to be subscribed to my channel. And for those of you who don't know what Morphe Me Brush Club is, Morphe Me is a monthly subscription box for $19.99 and I usually receive anywhere between three brushes and seven brushes every month for $19.99. And now let's see what I got this month. And I'll also be leaving the link to Morphe Me in the description box below. If you subscribe using that link, you'll receive a free brush of your choice at checkout. So make sure you use the link down below if you would like to receive a free brush. I also wanted to invite you guys to enter my holiday giveaway where I'll be having two winners. I'll be leaving the link in the description box below if you would like to enter my giveaway. And now let's see what I got this month. Well, we actually received a six brushes this month, which is actually pretty good. And the first brush I see is the M512 brush, which is the round contour brush. I would actually use this brush, well, like it says, to contour, but because this one is kind of small. I would actually use it to contour my nose. That's what I would use this brush for. The next brush I see is the M516 brush, which is the angled blender brush. I would actually use this brush to blend my outer V. That's what I would use this brush for. And it, because the tip is also kind of angled, as you can see, I would actually use this brush also to apply highlight in my brow bone. That's what I would use this brush for, or maybe even to contour my nose as well. The next brush is the M502. This is the round blender brush, and the bristles are made of sable. I would actually use this brush to blend in my outer V and to blend my crease. That's what I would use this brush for. Four. The next brush is the M562 brush, which looks like this. This is the tiny crease blender brush. I would actually use this brush to blend my um, lower lash line. That's what I would use this brush for. Maybe to even apply highlight in my tear duct area. And the bristles are synthetic on this brush. The next brush I see is the M560 brush which is a detail crease brush. This one I would actually use to apply eyeshadow also in my lower lash line and maybe even like to apply highlight as well in my tear duct area. And maybe when I do like a cut crease, I would use it to like blend out my crease when I need like very detailed work. That's what I would use this brush for. The last brush I see is the M515 brush, which looks like this. This is a t detail crease liner brush. I would actually use this brush to apply eyeshadow very close to my lash line to apply highlight in my tear duct area and also maybe to apply highlight in my brow bone. That's what I would use this brush for. This month I received six brushes in my Morphe Me Brush Club. I actually do like the brushes that I actually received because I feel like these brushes are brushes that I see myself using a lot. I actually do like my brushes, usually the ones I received in my Morphe Me Brush Club. There's sometimes that I don't like one or two, but for the most part, I usually do enjoy all my brushes. And that was everything I received in this month's Morphe Me Brush Club. If you like my video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll leave all the details of all the brushes I received in the description box below as well as the link to Morphe Me if you would like to subscribe. And remember, you receive a free brush if you subscribe using the link below at checkout. And don't forget to leave your comments of what you thought about these month's brushes and see you guys next time.